So this is the init.php script. Here there is no need of these if else. So simply remove the if else. Okay, now save the file. Now we are going to create the PHP script for new user uh, registration. So first we have to save this one, make save us inside the root directory of ARM server with file name uh, register.php. Okay, so now remove these statements. So first we have to establish a connection to the database. We already created a PHP script that connect to the database. So we have to add that PHP script to the beginning of this one. So require the file name is init.php. And now we need to declare some variables. First we have to get information from the Android application. Here we need to get information like a name, a username email address password so here we have to declare some variables for get information from the android application so here is the first variable name and here we use the post method so post and first variable name is name here is the key for it name now the second variable email and use the post method with the key email Now copy this one. Here is the third variable. Third variable is password, a uh, username. Uh, specify the key. Here the key is a username. And here is the last variable. Last one is password. And specify the key for it. Here it is password. Okay. So before going to add the user information to the table, we have to check whether the user is already registered or not. So here we have to check first if the user is already registered. So create a SQL statement. So create a variable SQL. And here is the SQL statement. Select star from user info where email like email. So now we need to execute it we have to execute this SQL statement so call a function called MySQL like query so this function need two arguments first one is the connection uh, now you have to pass the SQL statement and finally save the result into a variable called a result okay so now we need to check some condition if a result if the MySQL lie number of rows of variable result variable result is greater than zero that means the user already exists so here we have to declare some variables I declare a variable called the response and specify that one as an array okay now here declare some variables declare a variable called the code and here reg failed because the user already exists now declare another variable called message message and specify a server message user already exist okay now we need to make some JSON data. We have to declare some name value pair. So call a function called array, array push. Now specify the target array name. Here the target is a response. And now specify the name value pair. Call a function called array of. First specify the key for the value. First one is code and the variable is code. Now the second property of JSON object. Second property is message. Now specify value for it. Variable message. Okay. Now we have to make the JSON encode and pass it. 
so json echo <coughs> json encode and pass the response variable response okay so now else case that means user is not accessed in that case we have to add all this information to the table so here we need an SQL statement <coughs> now specify the SQL query here is the SQL query insert into user info where values name email username and password now we can execute this SQL query so I copy this statement okay this will execute the SQL query and put information to the table now we need all these statement <coughs> so I copy that one uh, here code is reg success registration success and now specify a user message uh, thank you for Thank you for registering with us. Uh, now you can log in. Now you can log in. <coughs> Again, the same thing we create the JSON response. And finally, we can close the connection to the database. So call the function called MySQLI close and pass the connection variable okay <coughs> so now the PHP script for registration is ready so before going to use this PHP script uh, we can test it so before going to use this one you, with your Android application you need to make sure that it's working fine so here we have some HTML form here is an HTML form called the register test and this contain a simple HTML form with action register.php and method is post and here we have input like name, email, a username, password and here is a button okay so now I copy this HTML page I go to the installation folder of WAMP server go to the root directory and put it there now open your browser on the address bar type localhost now specify the HTML form name uh, register test.html okay here is a simple HTML form you have to specify name email uh, username and password so specify name uh, specify an email address Now specify a username. Uh, specify a username. And finally specify a password. And a register. Uh, this is the response from server. This is a JSON array with one JSON object. Here the code is registration success. Now check the table. Uh, refresh it. check the table uh, here is the newly added user okay uh, now we are going to add the same user again so here I'm going to use the same email address so add a different name but here I'm going to use the same email address uh, change username and password now try to register this is the response here a registration failed and user already exists